police yesterday vehemently claimed that it had substantive information linking the opposition leader Dr. Kiza Vesiji to forming an armed rebellion aimed at toppling the ruling government. But I'm telling you, is behind all these armed and unarmed disorders is fully behind. So his time, you wait, we shall get him on the right foot so you're soon. Besije, who spent the whole day indoors at his home in Kasangati, amid tight security, dismissed Kawesi's allegations, challenging him to take the matter to the courts of law. However, Kawesi says that it's just a matter of time and he will be apprehended to face the law. When we get him in the, in the real uh, uh, activities of rebellion and this armed struggle, uh, we are, we are, the information we are getting, he will be finished. He will go to Luzira and he will live there his, li his lifetime. If we wanted to use guns, we know where they are. We know how to get them. We know how to use them. We wouldn't first of all go to Kiseka and hide there three guns or whatever. It's, it's, it's nonsensical. Kawesi's allegation follows police's revelation of four guns being recovered from unidentified men in Kiseka market on Sunday a day before the walk to freedom protests. <laughs> Meanwhile, BCJ has also attacked Geno Sejusa, previously known as Tinye Funza, on his recent letter to the Daily Monitor on the growing impunity and arrogance among its government bodies, who he says instead of protecting the people, are now turning violent on the population. Uh, uh, writing to the media, this violence is bad. Of course it is bad. Don't torture citizens, of course. There's, there's no reason why government should be torturing citizens. But you are the senior advisor to the president on, oh, I don't know, military, intelligence, and, and all other kinds of things. So if you have failed to advise your regime, just come and join us. That is the decent thing to do, not just to write fickle things to the press. He's in fact discrediting himself. Solomon Sirwanja, NTV.